Hello everyone, I'm Kim Sanz, Product Manager for the IoT and Software Department. I'm here to introduce a solution for all those monitoring installations that require covering long distances or have obstacles for wiring. This could include, for example, industrial warehouses, office buildings, hospitals, university campuses, campgrounds or leisure ports. Our Bridge LS solution is a gateway from RS-485 to long-range radio technology designed to replace wired communication buses with LoRa wireless communications. It's important to note that these devices are designed to creating private industrial networks. The main advantage of this solution include its long-range capability reaching distances of up to 15 km outdoors with a direct line of sight and 1 km indoors. It also has a high penetration capability through obstacles like walls or roofs and a high tolerance to interference. We offer a compact unit, just a DIN rail model wide, which is available in both DC and AC power supply versions. In any installation involving Modbus devices, the solution should always include a master device, such as a line EDS, a data logger, or a PLC, in addition to the measurement devices, whether they are temperature sensors, humidity sensors, or energy meters. To integrate the LoRa solution, a bridge LR configured as a LoRa master must be installed directly wired to our Modbus master, and as many bridge LR slaves as locations or sub-panels with measurement devices. Behind each bridge LR slave, you can connect up to 32 devices on each RS-485 bus. Our LoRa wireless communications are entirely transparent, meaning that the Modbus master can continue to send requests just as it would without the bridge. And the same applies in the opposite direction. It's essential to consider that LoRa has a lower transmission speed than wire mod bus. So depending on the distance, a timeout between 1 and 3 seconds must be configured in our master device. However, for most applications where high data refresh rates are not required, such as reading temperature sensors or incremental temperature parameters like energy consumption, the increase in the timeout won't be a significant issue. In summary, what we achieve is converting a 485 connection into a powerful wireless network, saving on installation, startup, and maintenance costs. Thank you for your attention, and remember, if you want to stay updated with new videos, you can subscribe to our channel and enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. See you soon!